Hi friends, welcome to another Clean With Us. It's our party, and we'll clean if we want to. We're so glad to be back with another video. It feels like it's been a while. It's birthday month at our house. Most of my siblings are all born in the same month. Actually, to be specific, the same week of September. And then my oldest is also born in September. So we really go big for birthday parties. We have so much to cover. We can't wait to tell you about the fun events that we did, karaoke, trivia, our theme. But first, we want to introduce ourselves. I'm Lana. I'm Laura. And we're two identical twins who love to clean and tidy. And if you enjoy cleaning, tidying, and organizing, then you're on the right channel. We have some huge cleans coming up in our future, even bigger than our hoarding video. So take a look, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and you'll be the first to see when those come out. We had an amazing theme for our party. We did an early 2000s party. We decorated with media, DVDs, CDs. There seriously was so much stuff. It was really, really fun. The 2000s were the bomb.com, and we're just kind of curious, which movies did you guys love in the 2000s? For those of the subscribers that are able to remember that time period, put in the comments, what was your favorite movie? We are children of the 2000s, and so we knew this was going to be a really fun one. We decided to plan all of our events around the 2000s, so we did things like laser tag, we did trivia based on the 2000s, and then of course we had to do some karaoke. And we said we're big birthday people, and that's true, but honestly, Lana and I don't usually do birthday parties for ourselves. You know, we had a lot of friends that were interested in seeing us, and we thought, you know what, why don't we go ahead and just, you know, get everybody together and, and actually do a party. We shook the magic eight ball that was actually broken and it said, I think, try again later, but we ended up doing it anyways. If you're considering having a 2000s party or a Y2K party, first off, do it. Also, check out our Amazon link. These are the decorations that we bought and we're going to keep them. We're going to do a party like this again in the future. So the first thing of the night is we did tactical laser tag. Now, this is not like pew, pew. This was intense. We had headgear. We had guns that looked like real guns. Um, obviously, this was very safe. Don't worry. Well, actually, it wasn't safe, but we'll get to that in a minute. For anyone that saw our vacation video, this summer was the first time we've ever done laser tag. And Lana and I legit, like children, started crying. Because we don't really like to be physically active. I don't know what to say. Well, I, well, they were trying to split us up, too, and we were not having that. So luckily, we got to be on the same team, and it was a great experience. So just throwing it out there, sometimes we should try things that we don't want to try. This time we were okay with splitting up because we actually rented out this laser tag place so that it was twin versus twin. Or more importantly, red team versus blue team. You know, we both had major highlights. Laura won an award. Laura, you want to talk about your award? Mm-hmm. It was the Kamikaze Award. I had the most deaths, as in I was killed the most time. <laughs> and I also had one that was hit the most times, which kind of goes hand in hand. I was, I was an easy target. But that's because I was getting after it, getting to the other base. And I had a similar strategy. I just didn't die as many times. Laura and I were both sprinters on our team, which is ironic if you look at our videos. Lana, me, I don't look like a sprinter, but I was in the moment. But this ended up being kind of my demise because I saw this like great opportunity. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to get to the other base. I'm going to do this. And so there was no one around and I full on sprinted. And you ever like go into life and you know you need to baseball slide into something? I needed to baseball slide into the other base. So I was like, let's do this. So I went, I went, fell, or well, it was more like a slide fall. And then I 
literally crashed into the wall. I heard my ankle snap. Okay, it didn't snap, but there was a crack. I heard it. Um, And it was embarrassing. I almost broke their equipment. So long story short, you really do not need to be a show off for anyone. What she didn't mention, besides the guy helping her up and everybody asking if she was okay, is afterwards she ended up capturing a flag that was the game we were playing and running it back to her base. So that was awesome. That is a lie. I did not end up running it back to my base. I limped my sorry self all the way back. (laughs) I tried to make you a hero. (laughs) Who do you think won? Was it Lana on the red team or Lara on the blue team? Oh, yeah. So we came home after laser tag. And then the theme, because, you know, we had to have a costume theme, was that everyone had to dress as their teenage selves for the party. And this was so much fun. This was one of my favorite parts. And the reason was is because our friends, they they span different generations. So we had some friends that were a little bit older than us and friends that were a little bit younger than us. So watching people dress as their 13-year-old selves, for one, there's so much variety in that, even if you are born in the same year, you know, but it was really great to see people just the, the variety of costumes. It was epic. Can I tell you my favorite part? Of course. Honestly, it was your trivia. It was our trivia. We were the host of trivia. Yeah, well, you put it together. You figured out the questions, and uh, you let me, let me did the tally marks. Oh, yeah, you did a great job at tally marks. I didn't do such a good job, but (laughs) I did keep track, and that's what matters. Here are some examples of the questions that we did. See if you can figure out what the answers are. Out of the four questions, how many did you get right? Let us know in the comments below. And to really tie in with the theme, of course, we had to have pizza for dinner, candy, sugar, cake, all the junk food. All of our friends are in their late 20s and 30s. So uh, yeah, it was a lot of sugar for them, but it was such a great night. I actually worked with my school and they let me check out cafeteria trays, which I think were a perfect touch for our teenage life. The only problem I had is I didn't know what the cool table was because there were so many cool people there. (laughs) You know, I think we're getting better at cleaning or at least time wise because this clean took one day to do and a lot of our party cleans take days, sometimes even a week to to recover from. Honestly, I think you're right. We actually have multiple party videos. We've done, you know, obviously your daughter's party. We've done multiple events and there is a system. It just it takes time. Karaoke ended up being a huge hit at the party. I mean, we won't probably go too much into it, but definitely some great music from the early 2000s, but no one was limited to the early 2000s. I know that I was belting out some Celine. I know Cher was brought up and ABBA. By the way, you should also know that Laura and I are terrible singers. We are awful. It's one of those gifts we were not given. And so when we sing, we have to deliver with passion in order to equalize. I think I overcompensate with uh, complicated lyrics. I have some songs that I have memorized and it's like, oh, she's so good. And it's like, that's because I can't sing. 
Now, even though we didn't end up eating the cake, because I don't know what happened there, we had so many other sweets. Um, we had a really cool cake. It was decorated with 2,000 shows. So this it was from Disney, Nickelodeon, and Cartoon Network. And so it was definitely down uh, like a memory lane situation. What the real hit was were the cookies. Oh, yeah. The cookies were so good. We have a cookie lady, and she is literally the best. So they tasted good, but they also had a bunch of 2000 stuff. We'll throw up some pictures here. I mean, I'm telling you guys, this theme was great. Just copy all of the stuff that we did, and you will throw a killer party. You know, no matter what generation you grew up in, most of us had childhood shows. Tell us what was your favorite childhood show in the comments. Maybe did you grow up on Cartoon Network or Nickelodeon or something different? Put it down below. Oh, and what about the Pokemon moment? That was like the most heartwarming. During our trivia, we did finish the lyric and the Pokemon song came up. And Laura and I grew up with Pokemon. We weren't really obsessed or anything, but we loved it. But we actually know all the words to the theme song because of Smosh, which was one of those viral bands that came out when we were young. And we loved, loved it. And the whole entire group was singing along with us. It was really cool. You know, the kitchen is always the hardest room to clean. I also want to point out all of the empty Jello shot containers. We did Powerpuff Girl Jello shots, so there was red, blue, and green. If you grew up on the Powerpuff Girls, which Powerpuff Girl were you? Put it in those comments below. We were so careful with the lunch trays, even though those things go through like an industrial washer, they're dropped on the ground, kids, you know, do crazy stuff with them. We were still like, we can't chip these. They were like so expensive individually. So, you know, we luckily just, just had to rent them, but still we were very gentle and I knew that they were going to wash them anyway. So we washed them, made them clean, but we did not use the dishwasher. I feel like no matter where the party is in your house, you know, people will have like a party in their basement, their living room. It's always the bathroom and the kitchen that end up getting the most mess. And it kind of makes sense. We do get a lot of requests on this channel. So people asking us to clean certain rooms. And that is our favorite question. We always ask at the end of our videos, you know, what should we clean next? But the most requested to this day that we've gotten are balloon pops, which is so unique, so interesting. If you're into that, we have a balloon popping video at the end. No music, no dialogue. Just check it out if you want to see us pop balloons. Speaking of sounds and cleaning, we just want to say thank you to everyone who watched our ASMR videos. That was very fun for us to kind of experiment with, you know, no sound and no music. And there was something kind of relaxing and satisfying about it. But what we did learn is Laura and I love to talk and apparently you guys love to listen. We were definitely asked to speak more. And so we're going to take a break from ASMR and go back to what we do best, talking. We're getting towards the end of the video and we've asked you a lot of questions. What are your favorite early 2000s movies, music, uh, TV shows, aesthetic, fashion? We want to know it all. We could talk about this all day. 
But as a cleaning channel, we promised you some big cleans coming up. So please know that one of the cleans we're doing right now is we're working with a family of seven kids. We are helping them get their lives in order, organizing and minimizing. This has been a really fun part of our journey. And that's why we haven't posted that much. You know, we're trying to get those YouTube shorts out to you, but we are cleaning. We have postpartum mamas trying to do it all, people that have OCD and hoarding tendencies that are trying to let go, and we're working on our own lives. We have some room redos in our house, some basic cleaning, and definitely our 30-minute reset has been very popular, so we're definitely working on that as well. Thank you again. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. If you like cleaning, scrubbing, dusting, organizing, decluttering, then make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Check out our Tidy2 TikTok. We have us working really hard on some amazing cleaning jobs, and we also have us being a little silly. Our cleaning playlist is full of videos. We clean just about every room a house has and some bonus areas like garages, schools, and small spaces. We have fall and holidays coming up, and so we're looking for some great cleaning projects to do. So we wanna know, what, what should we clean, clean next? next?